Howdy my friends and welcome to a little special unannounced project. It is almost Halloween after all, so I figured this was very appropriate. And it is one of my favorite one of my favorite Halloween games. And uh you know, ever since my childhood I've really, really loved this game and uh it is just awesome anyway. Pretty underrated, honestly though. And uh this is Sky Hurricane 89. Hope you're having a super awesome blessed day and ready for the ready for the Halloween season here. This is going to be a no chalice run of medieval. Now, it's going to be a big challenge for me. I actually practiced this a couple of years ago. Didn't record it or anything, but uh, I just kind of practiced it just to see if it was feasible. And I got pretty far. I got to the uh, Enchanted Earth boss. And so I, I'm, I'm thinking it's doable, but it's probably going to be a lot of fail the further into this that I get. And I'm actually going to skip these cutscenes because I initially did an LP of this game. And, well, if you really want to see those, you can you can watch that. This is going to be kind of, we're just going to get right into it immediately. So, I just love this game. I love everything about it, the graphics and everything. It's just, it's really good for its time. It's just, it's just perfect, you know. I mean, I like Medieval too, but I really actually like this one a whole lot more. For one thing, this one is not near as brutal as Medieval 2, for one thing. Medieval 2 also is good, though. We're going to do a new game. And we're going to be waking up from the crypts. Old Sir Daniel, man, he is... He has rested for over a hundred years, or right at right around a hundred years. Now he's having a flashback. Oh, Zarek, man. Zarek's design is just so great. You know, just, he's just such the villain, you know. Villain that you actually, as you play this game, you come to love to hate, you know. Those poor Sir Daniel. Waking up. For a chance to redeem himself after falling in the first thrall of arrows. And hi, Marky Mark, how are you? My Grand Turismo 6, buddy. It has risen again. <laughs> Sir Daniel Fortescue. See? The hero of Galomir who fell at the first charge. The fog of war and the shrouds of time conspire to turn the arrow fodder into the savior of the day. But we know better. I love how they always refer to him as it. <laughs> it is so funny. Uh, but anyway, I'll shut it now. Let it alone. It. Fate has given it a second chance. A chance to forget the ignoble truth. A chance to defeat Zarak and live up to the legend. We hope it does well. Well, thank you. At least one of you has faith in me. But uh, yeah, I will be looking at all the. I will be looking at all the gargles because I just love their speech and everything. But but uh, we will be getting another uh, chalices. So so yeah, that's gonna make this increasingly difficult. Especially as we get further along. Now, granted, this uh, this playthrough will be a lot faster than uh, than normal. You know, than a normal playthrough because we won't be killing every enemy. I mean, in no t no hit in a no chalice run, you don't have to defeat the enemies. You know, because you're not trying to get the chalice, which you will not get weapons, and you won't be able to get very many life bottles either because a lot of the life bottles that you would get. Would be, uh, you know, will be found from the Hall of Heroes. So we won't be going to the Hall of Heroes. So that will be a thing. I'll read some of these books to track down Zerk by retracing his diabolical odyssey through Galamir. You can spot the exits from an area by looking out for a stinking trail of magic slime. Ah, oh, I just love it. It's so awesome. And I think they actually. I want to say that they maintain that even in a uh, medieval two. In some levels, no, 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 I don't. I don't think they did. I don't think they kept the magic slime trail. I don't think they did. 
I actually LP'd Medieval 2 a lot more recently, but still, <laughs> I don't really remember. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to see if I can get this to save. I may have to... I didn't really check that beforehand. I may not even have a member card in. I'm playing this on my PS3. Now, let's see here. Okay. This will work. Good thing, because we'll definitely have to utilize that. All right, so the graveyard. Let's try this. So we will not be getting the chalice, so we're going to be kind of speeding along through it. Of course, we're still going to have to do all the puzzles and stuff that's necessary. But, uh, yeah, I've, uh, I've, some of you have been commenting on, have been commenting, I don't think on my videos, but uh, on a video that I commented on, Exotic Penguins Medieval Resurrection videos, and uh, Pumpkin Juice 147, you kind of got me in the mood. I'll, that's a great, Sky. Already. I had to say uh, that I have not practiced this. The last practice I had was Medieval 2, which is slightly different. The controls are generally the same, but. Yeah, it's pretty bad because the throwing daggers are going to be like the best weapon that we're going to have. The throwing daggers in the club are going to be like the best weapons that we, that we end up getting. Because everything else you get from the Hall of Heroes, you know. I'm just taking hit after hit. I hope that is not a sign of things to come. Yeah, these first levels are just a warm-up anyway, you know. I'm just kind of getting used to the controls and such. The camera and all that jazz. Oh, man, the camera on, like, the ghost ship level is just horrible. The ghost ship level will be a lot easier now, though, since we're not... Going for a hundred percent. Oh, and I am killing everything, and I—I I just have such an end tendency to kill everything. I, I can't help it. I really cannot help it. I'm not even supposed to be killing everything, and I'm killing everything anyway. All right, but we do want to go this way because there will be a. Ah, come on now, camera! Golly, camera! There we go. Uh, now let's get attacked by a zombie. That is awesome. <laughs> Chasing after me. He wants me. Yeah, we definitely want to go this way, though, for some money and, more importantly, that life bottle, because I don't really know how many life bottles we'll get. I know there's nine total in the game, but that's if you're going for 100%. If you're not going for 100%, I'm not sure how many life bottles it is that you will be able to obtain. Probably four or five, I mean, but I'm not sure. I know there are like one or two just in uh, the last level alone. And I really don't need that. I don't know why I went that way. Don't fall into the deep water. Oh, this is cool. You'll need to kill more zombies before you can collect the chalice. Oh, well. What percent did I end up getting? 50%. And I didn't even need to get 50%. I was just playing. I wasn't paying attention. Let's talk to this gargoyle here because I love the gargoyles. Tread softly. Zarek awaits beyond these gates. The master meets with the demon from the mausoleum. Hatching plots of purest evil. Forgotten nobodies would be wise to make themselves scarce. How dare you call me a forgotten nobody. How dare you. I shall redeem myself just because I died and failed. I have a second chance. You know, we all deserve a second chance every now and then, don't we? I mean, at least a second chance. I mean, maybe not a third, fourth, fifth, sixth chance, but, you know, at least a second chance. I mean, poor Sir Dan, I'm not going to save after every time. I honestly don't expect to have too much difficulty with this level, although... Although I did have a lot of difficulty with this level as a kid. Golly, this level's so hard. When it came to trying to go up the part where where you uh, had to go up the mountain trail with the rocks rolling down. Oh, it's so hard. There's the big man himself, though. So 
even from the shackles of death, my old enemy pursues me. You're too late, Fortescue. Already my army has risen from the grave. You will never <laughs> leave this necropolis. <laughs> Come on now, bro. Come on now, Zarek. Why couldn't we just be friends? You cool, dude. You could be cool, I mean. But I don't know, having those gargoyles shoot humongous rocks that are much bigger than themselves out at you is kind of weird. But uh, let's look at this. Some obstruction. Uh, I can't talk. Some obstructions can be smashed down with clubs and certain other weapons. Try experimenting. Alrighty, I shall. Shall do that. I really do like this level. It's actually a very short level, but uh, it's pretty nice. And let's just take care of these zombies, shall we? And I really honestly didn't need to go over here. I probably should save that for later, but... Yeah, there is a fountain of rejuvenation. Okay, the first thing I want to do, though, is come up here. Yeah, you don't want to fall in that lava. That was another thing. It's so easy to avoid, but as a kid, it was not easy for me. Oh, these guys really take a lot more damage. But we took care of them. Now here is probably going to be one of the best weapons that we get in this run. <laughs> Already on level 2. Well, if you, uh, you know, if you don't count Dan's Crypt as a level. Crypt. Crypt. What the egg? The club is a crude but effective weapon. Bash with it. Burn with it. But beware one bash too many and it will break. Just like springs. I'm kidding. Nah, she don't ever break. But anyway, that's a store for another day. Alright, let's see. I can change this. Yeah, I'm still kind of getting used to things. And I don't know why I just changed that, because I need that. Yeah, the thing about the club is, unlike the hammer, which we will not be getting, um, the hammer never breaks, you know, with the club wheel. And so, if I... <laughs> I probably will end up using the club quite a bit, because it is so effective. But, um... Uh, it will only go so far as the thing, so I have to be very wise in how I'm using it. Of great archaeological interest, destroy the boulder and plunder the valuable treasures within. Just like an oh no more zombies at my neighbors. Hack level name. Alright, let's talk to you. You glowing red eyes. <laughs> ah, fresh air. We hate these dark old caves and their filthy stench of old riches. A coven of the warty old hags lived here once, unholy fires burning all night while they brewed up unspeakable muck in their cauldrons. They moved on years back, but the smell still makes our eyes sting. Hmm, so a sign that there could be some possible witch artifacts nearby that we could use. So let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of you. Cause you're gonna interfere with my progress. Let's see here. Yeah, I honestly don't know if I'm gonna... Since I'm not doing a chalice run. The thing is, a no chalice run, I could still get the dragon armor. And uh, technically, I guess, it would be fair to do that. Golly, y'all take a lot of... A lot of hits. Gosh. Whoa. Yeah, definitely could use that. Okay. And uh, if I get the... Well, no. Hold on. To get the Dragon Gem, I would have to defeat the pods. I'm trying to think here. Um, I'm trying to keep trying to think if I would have to get a chalice to get the, both the dragon gems. And I'm wanting to say that I wouldn't have to. Yeah, because you get one in, in the asylum level, which really is optional technically. Um, and then you'd also get but and you'd also get one for Oh man. You'd also get one for uh the witch. The wit the pumpkin witch. Oh, crap. Red Rock of Joy. Yeah, this is so easy now, you know, but it was so hard for me as a kid. And those little boxes, they always contain a 
shield, which you could use, but no, honestly, it's better just to run up there. Oh no, and you're and just like that, y'all, they commit suicide. Oh. Shame, shame, shame. But yeah, I think this will be really fun. I'm really, really enjoying this already, and it's a shame I don't have more time to record right now, because I have to work in about 25, 30 minutes, but uh but I'm really enjoying this. This is gonna be awesome. And I'm wanting to say that it should be possible. I'm hoping that I get it all uploaded by Halloween, but it probably won't happen. <laughs> It'll probably continue even after Halloween's over. I'm just guessing. I really I can't make any promises. The adventurer would be wise to be thorough in the exploration of an area. Hidden locations reap great rewards. Oh, and indeed they do. Indeed they do. But yeah, since this is a no chalice run, technically I... Getting the uh, getting the dragon armor would not be a cheat, I don't think. So it's definitely uh, just kind of thinking ahead here. But uh, the thing is, the dragon armor won't even you can't even get it till so far at the end anyway. So it's not gonna help me on the enchanted earth, you know. Which <laughs> that's gonna be the hard part, getting past the enchanted earth. Because uh, when I practiced this, that's where what really got me stuck. And uh, I actually got through the, the asylum level. It was very hard, but it's doable. So, y'all, we're going to take a little break here. And I will see y'all in the next part for the Hilltop Mausoleum, where we continue onwards. So, I hope to see y'all there. Sky Hurricane 89, sign out. Have a super awesome, blessed day. And as always, stay awesome, y'all. Goodbye.